man, 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 man. What is this? What is this? Why are we here just to suffer? So new ban list just came out, just dropped, right? I, I spoiled myself. The temptation was too strong, right? To, to not look at it uh, for me. So you could tell how excited I, I, I am right now just by how I'm speaking. But Link Rebo, bar on the floor, below the floor now, it's six feet under. Borrowed Savage, not so savage anymore, is it? And Summon Limit, more like Summon Band. A uh, limited, Protos, what are we doing? Why is Protos, why is Protos here? What are we doing? Don't, don't give Sword Soul something. Don't give them a pity comeback of Protos just because you banned Baron. Don't do that. Don't do that, please. Title came back. Hey, I have a secret rare title in my binder. That might be worth something now. Colossus is back. We're going to be floodgated. They traded one floodgate for another. They, they traded summon limit for Colossus. Cool. <laughs> um, Kieran. Hey, you know what? If there was one banlist uh, suggestion that I asked for, that was correct. Kieran was the one. I'm like, if Flameberg is okay, Kieran's okay. And now the power levels are equal because you don't see Flameberg here, do you? <laughs> you don't see Flameberg. Uh, you only see a Link Rebo, right? And Link Rebo is entirely here for Snake Eye. Everything on this band list or on this band section is here for Snake Eye. Everything on this limited list, maybe except Anti Spell just to support Pendulum more is these are generally like pretty good like other than protos these are pretty good revivals off the ban list like reviving thunder dragon now of all times i'm a little sad i mean shit, that's a buff to gate guardian actually that's an indirect buff to gate guardian i don't know if you guys realize guess how big it is that colossus is coming back i do feel a little goofy i had an ulti colossus last year that i sold um that's probably gonna shoot up to like 200 now at least <laughs> now that it's allowed to exist in the game again, I'm praying for a reprint in Rarity Collection too. Thank you. Thank you, Konami. Please, because there's another thing, the other thing I predicted is that some of these uh, cards coming back off the list would be um, reprinted in Rarity Collection too. So I hope that I'm right on, on that. Chicken Game is interesting. I don't think it's an inherently broken card, but when you're bringing back magic specters into the picture and like pendulum decks into the picture and the fact that like you have the majesty draco slayer which can search any field spell chicken game could be really really good for um pendulum decks to like uh, abuse i believe because it's pretty free you just pay a thousand draw one um ignite used it back in the day loop with the royal magical library i forgot exactly why it was banned but and maybe because the game was a little slower back then, drawing one or two cards was like a lot of a bigger deal. Was a way bigger deal back then, I, I guess. But now, an anti-spell, why even keep it at one? Just just ban the card. It's still sacky as shit. Just, just ban the card, like, all together. You know, like, I, I guess they saw a runic stun and they were like, you know what, we cannot let this continue. We cannot let stun decks continue. We cannot let them exist anymore. So here we are with our ban list hitting stun as well i mean it's an indirect hit to runic runic players will actually have to play the game now well play the game a little more i guess you could say the semi limits are like the craziest part giving us back armageddon knight is so interesting because it's like armageddon knight into mali doesn't do anything with Isold band right so we can let armageddon knight come back right for a bunch of reasons and then delicious memory i'm biggest pearly hater i mean yeah i'm one of the biggest pearly haters but i guess delicious memory is okay to come back i just don't like it because it's you know giving pearly a otk kind of annoying um i but sure pearly gets back a little something right before ready collection 2 comes out and they get to sell all the pearly stuff and now we get to the unlimited section, which is like the most interesting section, I think, besides the limited section, is that Mally's coming back to three. Um, There's no Beatrice hit, so rank sixes are still here to stay. Um, Harpoor is coming back to three, so congratulations, Orcus, Horus Orcus players. You guys are going to be gaming Terratop 
back to three congratulations goblin biker players you guys get an extra starter and engage i mean congratulations guy striker players you guys get to play at full power again i think i think there's only because it no they didn't update the website yet they're gonna update the website later uh what are the sky striker cards are still hit oh it's, it's just hornet drones and that's it right that's the only other sky striker card on the list i believe so yeah so you guys are like almost at full power basically and that's really interesting let's uh read some of the hot takes right sick list wild <laughs> oh yeah the problematic cards of format link rebo and Borload savage and they're gonna ban baron and savage right after they just got the cheap reprints they they quesoed ban these niggas they low tier god banned out the chat these niggas right and yeah it, baron ban is crazy but it's a kind of weird middle ground because baron has been bannable for a while it's been one of those generic extra deck cards in flux like you know the ones i'm talking about zeus apo baron those were the three biggest ones some people were calling for ip but sp just came out they're not gonna hit ip also reprint in rarity collection 2 apple also reprinted in rarity collection 2 so those are nowhere on the list um the banning of baron is so interesting because the just amount of decks that just could splash baron in as an extra card on their end board that now cannot do that at all is insane there's so many decks that could have did that and now they will have to take a completely different route in um confirm or in like building a board it's wild <laughs> the start of a villain arc okay no snake eye. That, that's not true that's that's not true um no calamity ban right we th that's another thing right there's no calamity here there's no um sanctifier here branded is still gonna be at full power basically uh goddamn centurion still gonna be at full power basically um especially with the new level 12 coming out of legacy of destruction i thought you know and collectively we all thought hey ocg banned calamity it seems like a pretty good you know um example for tcg to follow because calamity is the only reason why centurion was a problem but centurion could still top with Cosmic Blazar, so why give them more? Like, I don't get it. Why give them more cards to work with? It's like, ah, it's so frustrating. Uh, but yeah, I mean, congratulations, Centurion and, and Branded players. You guys get to keep your turn skip. Uh, no Beatrice, so tier players, you guys get Mally at three. Um, congratulations. And um beatrice gonna be more consistent uh destiny hero players the five of you out there congratulations you guys are back at full power i think or something um we got colossus back which is crazy and as i mentioned earlier that is a buff to gate guardian because they can use one of the nemesis monsters um in hand to um, summon itself and then they, they contribute that to summon Colossus um they didn't bring mist back up I think dinosaurs is fine I think di dinosaurs is really toxic if if they're allowed to go like uninterrupted dinosaurs is fine but yeah I mean rarity collection reprints were crazy like three of these cards reprinted in a rarity collection now we may have to look at rarity collection a little more closely with RC2 it's like Hmm, what cards are they reprinting in RC2 that are, like, a little too good, a little too generic for us, you know? Possibly Access Code, um, IP Apo are gonna be in Rarity's Collection 2, are those gonna be on a future ban list if they, can, if they continue to be a little too strong? I don't know. I don't know what to do with this information. My, my reaction to this information is crazy. Astounding.
I I'm I'm just flabbergasted. Let's see what else? Yeah, uh, Terra Top to three. Uh, this game's cooked. <laughs> this will be one of the banlists of all time, if not for the fact we are on tier zero. Yeah, I mean, Dragon Rulers are all back off the list. So I guess Dragon Rulers are playable now. That's an interesting thought that I didn't think about. Um, and Thunder Dragon is completely playable. Is Thunder Dragon... Uh, dragon no that thunder dragon dragon would, wouldn't work i don't think uh hey i'm glad i sold my cr baron actually because i've been sizing down my collection so i'm glad i sold my cr baron uh like last month um but i mean taking baron out the meta won't change the homogenized nature of the extra deck you still have a bunch of cards that are a little homogenized and it's funny how this is like an indirect hit to the list that i was playing with um <laughs> goblin biker because now i can't go into Borload savage uh with i mean now i can't go into baron stealing people's like fenrir's and stuff fenrir's still at three which i don't think fenrir is problematic at the moment but yeah um pankatrops also, not being bought up back to three is interesting. I, I guess they feel like they've given Castira a little too much or something. Um, yeah, this this sure is an interesting format. Um, so I think I'm going to end the video here just just so I can upload it as soon as possible, just so we can get the fucking stonks on the uh, uh, just so I could hear you guys' opinions about, like, what do you think about this this list? Because I can ramble about this all day. Like, this is... There's so much here. And uh, I kind of want to get experimenting with, like, Chicken Game, Karen, Colossus. Um, I guess Orc... Not, I don't really want to experiment with, with Orc as much, because it's, it's a pretty straightforward deck. Um... Maybe Sky Striker I may want to experiment with. Terra Top to 3 isn't really much of a big deal for Goblin Biker, but... Because... He, the deck didn't need another starter, really, but it's good to have, I guess. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, Prank Kids didn't, didn't get their list back. Or, didn't get Miyamu back, actually. That's another one that I forgot about. Um, hmm. All right, master. No, 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 no masterpiece. Come on. Be sane, please. Um, yeah, another Cybers monster we lost. Yeah. But I mean, you don't need Link Karibo and Cybers. You got so many Cybers Link ones. You'll, you'll be just fine. Trust me. Anima is about to get... Oh, shit. Anima is going to be more expensive. Now that's the ideal Link one. Uh, <laughs> just bought Baron. I really hope he didn't buy high rarity. Dude, the super rares were like 10 cents. Dude, this is insane. All right. End of video.